Hello my wonderful friends and welcome back to another video. I hope you are so well. If you haven't seen me before, I am Jem. I am a full-time wheelchair user after sustaining a spinal cord injury at the age of nine. The story is here if you want to bring yourself up to speed. But this channel is all about disability lifestyle. It's all about helping people feel less alone the way that I did when I was growing up. Which leads me so nicely into the topic of this video, which is the Candice Owens saga. If I had said to you three or four weeks ago, Candice Owens, would you have known who that was? Maybe some of you would have known, but I most certainly did not know. She has over a million subscribers on her YouTube channel slash podcast, and she has 4.5 million followers on Instagram. Why am I talking about Candace Owens today? I hear you cry. Well, I'm sure most of you are gonna know. Candace Owens was sent a advertising campaign by some followers on Facebook to react to. And the advertisement was of a lady sat in a wheelchair modeling adaptive underwear by a company called Skins, which is owned by the Kardashians. And this is what she had to say about it. On a wheelchair, it says Skims, made for everybody, available now. Really? That's all I'm gonna say is really. I don't, I don't really understand how far we're gonna take this inclusivity thing. I really don't get it. I don't know, and if I'm wrong, again, educate me. Today, I just wanna be educated in the comments. If people that are in wheelchairs were thinking as they were looking around, like, you know what really upsets me that I've never seen a bra and underwear advertised with a girl in a wheelchair. Why did they do this? I don't know. I don't know why this needed to be done. Obviously, when this was first brought to light within the disability community, people started getting angry, and quite rightly so. What's this in my hand, you might ask? Oh, thank you. This is an actual clump of lingerie that I have tried on, cried in, and then put in my drawer and left to forget because I didn't know what it was going to look like on a seated person, but they do show standing things, so... You know, I thought it would look good. Definitely did not. Killed my self-esteem. And this is why we need more wheelchair users in the mainstream media so that we have fucking representation and can do stuff normally. So that is why we need this inclusivity thing. Because we want to buy lingerie. We want to buy nice lingerie. We want to buy all types of lingerie because there are all types of people who use wheelchairs. There's not a one size fits all. It's devastating and massively impacts on our mental health when we don't see ourselves represented. Why did they do this? I don't know. I don't know why this needed to be done. Obviously, lots of people took to social media to educate Candice. Lots of people, you know, they told her why we have adaptive clothing line. Why did they do this? I don't know. Because it makes it easier for us to put the clothes on. We have clasps at the front so that we don't have to dislocate our shoulders. We're moving them to the back to try and put on a bra. We have side fastening um knickers so that we don't have to put one leg in and, or maybe we don't have legs you know there are so many different disabilities and so many ways that adaptive clothing makes life easier for us so that's what lots of people did they took to social media and they did what the disability community does best and that is advocate and we told her we told her why we need this why did they do this i don't know also if you're making an adaptive clothing line for people in wheelchairs, you need to advertise it so that they know where to buy it. Also, you want to have someone in a wheelchair use it or model it or the person who the product is for using it, otherwise it just doesn't make sense. Also, disabled people see completely through when it's not authentic and your company will be ridiculed because disabled voices matter and genuine disability representation matters. Candice was educated. Yeah, I just want to be educated in the comments. I, I just want to know, like, why, why does it bother her so much to see someone sat down? I mean, they're essentially in a chair with wheels, but there's something about it that's really not that right with her. And why is that? That's what I want to know. I'm just getting tired of this all-inclusivity thing. It seems ridiculous. She's getting tired of this all-inclusivity thing. I have had no representation until, you know, 
honestly it feels like since social media became so big that is when we have really started to have our voice heard it's where we have been included it's where i've seen us in modeling campaigns don't get me wrong it's not easy it's it's hard and we're still fighting we're still fighting to be heard we're still fighting to be seen but really it's only for the younger generation that are growing up now that they've seen themselves in books on tv in film and i'm not saying that it's all a bed of roses and everyone is being represented because they're not but it's tiring it's tiring having to advocate for this stuff i'm just getting tired of this all inclusivity thing it's especially tiring when someone with a platform as big as candice is talking about this and what's really scary is if you head to those videos which i really hope you won't there are comments in there with people who do agree with her and that's worrying. I mean, we're going to be on crutches and be like, well, how come we don't have a girl that's broken her leg on crutches also in a bra and underwear? I need, I don't feel included. I hate the way that she's mocking here. So she's doing a voice, she's mocking people, she's talking about a girl on crutches. And yes, of course it's upset me not being able to see me represented. Not only has it upset me, it's made me ill. And it hasn't just made me ill, it's made other people ill too. I'm talking about mental health here, I'm talking about trying to mask any kind of disability. It makes us ill. Look, I assumed that people that were in wheelchairs also have to buy bras and have to buy underwear. I, this is something that I, I just assumed that was a thing. I assume people in wheelchairs have to buy underwear. Like, very dismissive, very ignorant, like, oh, I don't want to deal with it, but I assume it happens, but oh, not in my space. Gross. I assume dogs walk on their hind legs, but I really don't want to see it. I didn't know that we needed to see that in our face. I didn't know that now we're going to have to look forward to campaigns where women that are in wheelchairs are now wearing bras and underwears because we as a society just cannot get to the bottom of our ridiculousness because that's what it is. We are being ridiculous, America. We are being ridiculous, America. I'd like to fire the person who was behind this ridiculous campaign. And by the way, I think people in wheelchairs will back me up on this. I think they're on my side. I think they think this is stupid. And I can tell you the people in the wheelchairs do not actually agree with you. We think you're stupid. Honestly, when I saw this, I, I mean, I have gone through, I'm not going to lie. I've gone through a lot of emotions here and we'll touch upon that in a minute. But people on wheelchair, people on, people in wheelchairs will back me up here. I don't think there's one person in a wheelchair that's gonna back you up, Candice. I mean, if there is, you probably don't wanna make yourself known. <laughs> but if there is, I mean, I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shooketh, I'm shooketh to the core that she is so arrogant and ignorant that she believes people in wheelchairs are gonna back her up. Like, oh, how wrong! You are. I'd like to fire the person who was behind this ridiculous campaign. She feels so strongly about it that the person behind it should be fired. Let's, let's all just agree today on Tuesday to stop being stupid. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. Stop being stupid. I think by that point, maybe she's having a seed of doubt because it, it's not very eloquent there. She's very eloquent throughout the whole sort of segment. And then there she is just like, let's just stop being stupid because it, I mean, it gets better when I say it gets better it gets so much worse she had to do a response video to that because there has been a lot of backlash so here comes the response video and I am gonna warn you this was not comfortable watching and I kid you not I did actually tear up but the more I watched it then the angrier I got and then the more stupid can we stop being stupid America more stupid it got because it's just so wild it's almost like a cartoon anyway let's let's dive into it a woman named Paula Carozo who is the creator and disability and also a disability rights activist and she said in this article quote for the disability community we are at the current peak of representation representation for us is as vital as the lungs we need to breathe. What did I say about how important representation is? Because if we don't see it, it makes us sick. It makes us very mentally unwell. We don't feel included in society. We don't feel like we have a place here. People do harmful things to themselves. 
And that is why representation is so important, almost as important as the lungs we need to breathe. And for someone to say that, you know, that comes from someone who is desperate, you know, who is passionate and who is, who really wants to get her point across to Candice. Representation and seeing yourself in an ad campaign is as important for you as your two working lungs that you need to breathe. That's totally fine. I'm, I have some things to say about that and I'm going to say those things while also later on getting to somebody who actually was much more reasonable in their assessment. So she's been extremely dismissive, dismissive of that. We're going to get on to someone who was actually a little bit more reasonable. And you know, when I was watching this, I felt like I was watching one of my bullies at school. I had a terrible time at school because I had no representation. They haven't seen me representate, represented. They haven't seen me represented and Anywhere. So they don't feel like they can connect with me, they don't know. And I felt like I couldn't connect with them because I felt so uncomfortable with myself. And they were just very dismissive, you know, didn't want me to be included in anything. So what you see in the media trickles down into everyday life, into real life, which affects people's lives. First and foremost, let's debunk the idea that I am an ableist. So if you're old school and you want to go and look up the dictionary um, and look up ableist, her picture will be there. <laughs> because everything that she said and everything that she's talking about and everything that she assumes is ableist. If you are a listener to the show, you know that I often talk about my pet peeves of ad campaigns where you can no longer see the product that they're advertising for. So let's put Candace Owens on Rewind talking about that pet peeve months ago. So she starts to show people in like ASOS campaigns who are in very strange contorted positions and I've seen it too and you can't see the garments properly because they're all like bending doing backflips they're like laying on the floor with the bums in the air and it's like you know it's really really hard to see I get that. And as I said, I want to see the product. I want to see the shirt. I want to see the underwear. Why are we doing this? Is it I want to see the shirt. I want to see the underwear. I mean, yes, so do we. I understand what she's saying there with these stupid poses and, you know, for non-disabled people doing that. It doesn't mean that she's hating on them for doing that. It's because she wants to see the product. Disabled people want to see the product. They want to see the product in real life on a real disabled body. So stop being stupid. We're going to be touching upon this in a minute, but the campaign for the woman in the wheelchair who sat in the wheelchair, she's showing us, us wheelchair users, she's showing us how it would look on our body because the campaign is for us. Because we're just trying to be more inclusive, are we trying to be more fun? What is the point of this? When I'm watching this, and you know, I'm saying I feel like I'm watching one of the bullies at school, can you kind of feel an, an angry tone with her? She seems very angry and ugh, and, and it's quite nasty about this whole situation. And don't forget, don't forget, she asked to be educated, and we told her. I've just spoken about that. We've told her why we have um, adaptive clothing and we, ha we have told her why there needs to be a, a disabled person, you know, modeling it. But now there's none of that sort of accountability. Thank you for educating me. I did not realize that X, Y, and Z. She has now taken it to a little bit more of another level and is still being nasty. I really feel like she is being nasty. She's bullying. Did I tell you that it gets worse? I spent my entire life fighting the idea that in order for me to feel like I'm allowed to be black or that I'm allowed to be a woman, I need to therefore see black women everywhere. A woman wrote to me and said, I wanted to be a model growing up and seeing this woman made me realize that I could be one. Do you know how many messages I get from people saying, do you know what, because I saw you flying to LA on your own, it's given me the confidence to do it. Do you know that because I have seen you have a baby in a wheelchair, it has given me the confidence that I needed to have a baby. I mean, this is life changing. Like representation can be life changing, life enhancing. It gives people the inspiration to do what they thought they couldn't do because sometimes if you if you can't see it how can you do it okay so what you're saying there is that you want to be patronized you want people to essentially hand out participation trophies 
you're perhaps not the best person suited for this particular role, but you want people to give it to you anyways. If that's not ableism right there, I don't know what the hell is because that is an ableist assumption. So she has assumed that the person that has written to her is a wheelchair user who has said, you know, I've seen this woman in a wheelchair who is a model and now I feel like I can be a model as well. And she is assuming that she can't be a model because she is in a wheelchair. She doesn't know anything about this person, but she is assuming that she can't be because she's because Candice still believes in her first statement. You know, disabled people shouldn't be in her space. Oh no, it's icky. Hey, okay, this is quite important because listen to this. I do want to make a couple of notes though. First and foremost, it is important for me to tell the world something, irrespective of whether or not you're black, disabled, or you are fat, whatever the issue is. I want you to know something. Everything. Is not for you. At the moment, and I say at the moment because you never know what's down the line, we are one of the only minorities that you can join at any time. And at the moment, the Skims campaign for adaptive underwear was not for you. Representation, here you go, ready, hear me out, does not matter. Contribution does, actual talent does, hard work does, family does, God does. Disabled people do do all that. They put the work in. <laughs> we work harder than anyone sometimes because we're not listened to, we're not seen. We have to convince people that hiring disabled people is good for your business because it is. There are over 14 million people in the UK with a disability. The spending power of disabled people is worth 270 billion pounds a year. You heard that right. Billion. Not million. Billion. You're never going to find out what it is that God gifted you with if you're wasting your time demanding to be let into other people's gifts. In fact, you're ignoring the gifts when you sit back and you envy somebody else's. Oh, you're never going to find out what your gift is if you're too worried about being asked to be let into other people's gifts. Oh, <laughs> that is why representation matters. This video, it hasn't made for comfortable, you know, making. Um, it hasn't made for comfortable viewing. I, I get that, but I do feel like this, you know, it, it should be spoken about. Um, you know, there are people who have the same views as her. And I hope that by making this video, I can hopefully make some of those people who agree with Candice see that what she believes is, is not quite right. I would love to know, what do you think? How has representation helped you? How has representation not helped you? What do you think Candace should do? Do you think Candace should make a, an apology video? Do you think Candace needs to learn, you know, take a bit more accountability? Do you think the damage has already been done? Thank you so much for watching. I think that if you enjoyed this video, you're definitely gonna enjoy this video.